there is joy in being pure. But purity is not so much about sex. Purity is not so much about chastity, although chastity and sexual discipline are parts of it. What is purity? Purity is to be able to love without desiring to possess. It is desiring to love without the compulsion to be exclusive. It is the capacity to give yourself without expecting anything in return. So purity is not just about sensuality. Purity is not just about, as I said, sex. Purity is greater than that. And the purity that restores to you the joy that you seek is that sense of freedom when you love. That you can love even if you are not loved back. That you can love even if they humiliate you. That you can love even if they plot evil against you. That you can love even if they calumniate you. That you can love even if they spread lies against you. If you can love like that, that is not just courage. It is purity. It is purity because you are able to love and love like Jesus. That is the challenge for us. To love without clinging. To love without demanding. It is quite difficult. Because we tend to expect that when I love you, you must be faithful to me. You must be true to me. But come to think of it, God has loved us. Is there anyone here who has never been unfaithful to God? Is there anyone here who has never betrayed God even once in her or her, his life? All of us have sinned against the Lord. And that is impurity. But why is God so pure? Because He has loved us when we were most unlovable. He has loved us when we were most in darkness. He has loved us right at that moment when we were hurting Him. He still said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. The purity of loving will restore to you the joy that you seek. To be able to love without counting the cost, that is purity of love. Can we love like that? Yes. If you love like that, you're loving like the Lord. And loving like the Lord can only be bliss. Celebrates, consecrated people, married people, single people, all of us are called to live purity of lives, to love without measure, because the greatest measure of love is to love without counting the cost. Let us keep our hearts pure. Let us bring purity into our loving in the same way that impurity destroys our joy. Be consoled, my people. Love purely. Love without demands. Love without clinging. And God is going to restore to you the pure joy of loving.